boy. It's a cloudy one, but still a gorgeous one nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? My name is Polk Drago, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video today, we are going to Morrisville Cars and Coffee for their final Morrisville event of the year. Today is December, so I can't wait. Woo! As you guys can hear, Dragon Slayer is slowly starting to calm down. You know, we need to be a little bit calm if we're going to get out this neighborhood. So, with that being said, I can't wait to do this, you guys. And also, here's the treat. I'm going to try to find him, but my father is actually going to be driving my ZHP to the event as well. And so, it's going to be the first time ever that both this car and that car are at a show. So, with that being said, can't wait to see that at the Cars and Coffee, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave earlier than he is, and let's do this, you guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have finally arrived, and we have my buddy, Ruben, with his beautiful, beautiful, beautiful 570s that has pretty much much well he had pretty much almost every single toy pretty much piled up in there and in his front of his vehicle which for housing a bunch of toys and having a little child in the front seat as well and be able to still carry all that yeah that that, that deserves a medal in my book that just goes to show you how good the 570s is it, it may be only a two a, a two seater but dang it it can hold a lot of crap but yeah, even with how cold it is, you guys, which is quite interesting because it is, for a lot of people, it's actually really cold. There's still like a lot of people here today. And the, and the event, I mean, hang on, give me a second. Yeah, the event hasn't even started yet. And there's already this amount of people here, which is, I think, pretty the best thing ever. We got the Pista and the GT500 owned by my good old buddy, Rob Ayers. But then, if we take away the pista for a little bit, and we'll get back to it, but if we take away the pista, we have the GT500, GT350, a Cobra, a Ford GT, and a GT350R. That right there is what I call a beauty of different Fords right there. Oh no, no, you guys can't do that to me. A beautiful Gajardo and a Huracan. Come on, that's not fair. That's not fair. Fair. I love the Huracan, but my first true love when it came to supercars was the Gallardo. I mean, are you serious? Now, here's my question for you guys. Which one do you guys like more? Do you guys like more technology, but you know, a lot more power from the Huracan platform? Or do you guys like the Gallardo, but it's a little bit more analog, you know, it's not as not as you know not as newer as this but you can also get it with the beautiful beautiful gated manual let me know <music> ladies and gentlemen holy moly Mercedes AMG GTR Pro. Yeah, baby, that is what I am talking about. Thing sounds absolutely insane. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the Mercedes AMG platform? Because I think this platform is severely, severely underrated in terms of how cool of a grand tour, but also just how insane a car can be especially like this this thing looks ridiculous in pro form everybody is now moving over because they heard the evil rev <laughs> exactly right <laughs> <laughs> That's the two-step baby. <laughs> oh boy. That's what this is reason number one and big reason why I love the car the car community. It is so everyone's funny and everybody 
just likes to have fun, even if we like to pick on each other. It's such a good community. Isn't that one of the new trucks? Yeah, that's one of the new trucks. Holy moly. I, wow. Okay, we're gonna have to find, if he parks somewhere, we're gonna have to find where he's parking because that thing is ridiculous. Oh, here we go, you guys. This is pretty much the truck that a lot of people have been wanting to get and to get their hands on. This thing right here looks quite interesting. It looks weird. I mean, because I've never seen someone that have this kind of light design where it's just straight, just lying for days. It's so weird. You have the, the Rivian logo right there and the word Rivian in the light. Huh. Let me know what you guys think about this truck. Because on the side right here, it looks like a traditional truck. You go behind it, let's check it out. Yeah, then you have th this behind that looks so different. This is so weird. The, like I said, let me know what you guys think. This is so cool. It's cool, but it's, it's still a truck. I don't know what to think about this.